Hot Girl Issue 3 yes. uh, by Jadzia, Axelrod, and Amanke mm-hmm. Hilpin. So uh, if you want to quickly give us a bit of thoughts on yeah, that. Yeah, so just broad strokes is um, uh, Galaxy and, and Hot Girl go into Gotham, where they were going to head in from the last issue, because uh, they're teaming up with Batman, because Batman has some some information about Volp, whatever her name is, the, 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 the Fox villain. Um, and so while, while they're there... Um, they run into, um, Barbara's friend. Um, what's her name? I'm going to try to get back to that page. Uh, she's, she's walking through Gotham. Uh, I think it's, is it Alicia? Yeah. Um, and these, this, this gang that are fans of, of Killer Croc go to attack her. They're called the Croc Block. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, don't gloss and, over that. The croc blocks are great. There, <laughs> it is, and so they're attacking her. Uh, Alicia is talking about how she's the you know the head cook at this place. She's on the phone, and then a image like Batman comes over the setting sun, and one of the members of the croc block goes, "Who are you?" And Hot Girl slams in and goes, "I'm Batman." And it's done in like the word bubble is taking the form of the bat, and it's all bold. I'm gonna imagine she's yelling it like Christian Bale. Um, just for my own guilty pleasure. Um, but yeah, so, so Galaxy and Argus, her Corgi and, uh, and Kendra all, you know, take these guys out, save Alicia. Um, Batman finds out that one of these guys that he knows from the, you know, the rich guy realm, uh, whose name is Farlane, uh, where is it? Farlane Kander. Um, he wants Bruce to sit on the, or Bruce wants him to sit. Or hold on, let me read. It. I read this today. Um, he, oh, he wants Bruce to sit on this board so he can, you know, pump up the value of his company. Um, and Bruce notices on the on his desk there's what looks like nth metal, right? So Bruce is letting her know this. Um, you know, uh, Kendra starts realizing like. There's almost like multiple timelines at play because Fairlane's uh, assistant, Ava Diaz, died, but nobody else besides Kendra remembers. Um, so Batman's like, well, let's let's pay a visit because I saw his assistant. She was alive. So uh, it's Vulpicula, by the way. Um, so they crash this get together that Vulpicula and uh, Farlane are having uh, only for him to recruit the uh Court of Owls and their talents. So as a ploy um, to, to run for power in Gotham and protection, uh, he ends up getting the talents and they get super nerfed here because, uh, you know, we've seen the talents almost like the Bat family, but here Galaxy, Batman, and Hot Girl are able to hold their own against the whole army of them. Um, Kendra takes, uh, takes a couple of them up to, like... Uh, Far enough that enough G's are going to uh, pass them out. Because while they might be basically indestructible and they'll heal, they still need to breathe. And the the G's will, you know, cause enough uh, issues with the brain that they'll shut off for time. Uh, so she swoops back down. Vulpicula stabs uh, uh, Fairlane with that piece of uh, Kendra's wing that she stole from the last episode. And he becomes this gigantic owl beast. Um... Very, very similar to one of the, the creatures that we saw in the last issue. Um, he starts attacking her. They're flying up and around. And Kendra starts having like this almost uh, identity crisis where he starts telling her, you know, like, you're, you're nothing but a fake. You're not the real hot woman, right? You're barely a hot girl. Um, you're nothing. And that's where Kendra goes off. It's like, you don't even know me. I've stood against all these other people that are trying to tell me who I am. Nobody can tell me who I am. Your opinion doesn't matter. And she slips and calls him Carter. So it seems like Kendra's having some issues here hmm. with with Hawkman. Um, she also says that, you know, she had Zoriel, a little angel, look me in the eyes and tell me that I was someone else. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. Um, so she ends up like savagely beating Fairlane in this owl uh, form to to where uh, as as she's beating him and yelling, you know, it's just like, I don't need you, Carter. He dissolves into dust. 
um, as he's saying, who's Carter? Um, so Batman and Galaxy end up having this, you know, conversation about his whole Bat mystique. And Galaxy actually makes Batman smile just because of their whole, like, their entire vibe is just this bubbly, super talkative and goes, hey, you know what? You do belong here. Um, and Kendra mentions to, to Galaxy, like, wow, Batman said more than two words to you. He used three. He must actually like you. Um so uh, the the issue ends with Kendra going to meet uh, her friend Abilene from the beginning. Um, and also, uh, I, I love your definition of broad strokes. <laughs> yeah, just real quick. Um, <laughs> and that uh, it ends with Volpicula back in uh, in uh, Metropolis saying like, uh, before this is over, I'll raise Metropolis to the ground. Um, and it says next issue, Dragon Slayer. Um, so yeah, um, the, I, I just mainly wanted to get to the point of it that the uh, Kendra having an identity crisis during it, I think seems to be the biggest thing that comes out of this is that she doesn't know, you know, she's tired of people telling her who she is. She's going to figure it out. And through three issues, I feel like that's where it's going to go. We also get the, uh, galaxy kind of confirms that nth metal isn't from our, uh, isn't from our dimension because nothing matches its unique, you know, vibrational frequency and stuff. So, um, art by uh, Nahopin is, is solid. All the action sequences are good. Uh, and the writing's really coming in of its own from Axelrod. So, uh, I'll give it a solid seven. Mm -hmm.